Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we will solve chapter 1. Chapter 1 is all about factors and multiples. So here is an example. Suppose if I write a number 12, we can divide this 12 by some number. Suppose we can divide this 12 by 1. Then we will get the output is 12. We can say we can divide this 12 by 2, then we will get 6. We can divide this 12 by 3 and we will get the result will be 4. So, here we will get the full concept of factors and multiples. We can say this 12 is a multiple of that number, every number. And you know, these all numbers are factors of 12. Again, 12 is a multiple of 1, 12 is a multiple of 2, 12 is a multiple of 3, 12 is a multiple of 4, 12 is a multiple of 6, 12 is a multiple of 12 itself. What about factors? We can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12 are all factors of 12. Now, we can say, suppose another example, that is uh, if I write, uh, suppose 16. If I write 2 times 8, we can say 2 and 8 are factors of 16. But 16 are multiple, so 16 is the multiple of 2 and 8. Now, we will solve first exercise 1a exercise 1a number 1 write down all the factors of 36 so we have to find out this number uh, that means uh, we can divide this 36 by some number we have to find out that number so we can divide these 36 by 1 then we will get the output will be 36 we can divide it we can divide this 36 by 2 and we will get the output will be 18. Again, we can divide this 36 by 3, we will get 12. Again, we can divide this 36 by 4, it will get 9. Again, if we want to divide, then we will get 6 by 6. Because 6 times 6 is equal to 36. So, we can say factors of 36 are 1. 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Very simple problem. Now, number 2. Number 2 says, write down all the factors of 16. So, we have to find out the numbers. We can divide this 60 by 1. So, that will be 1 times 60. We can divide this 60 by 2. That means 2 times 30 equal to 60. We can divide this 60 by 3, that means uh, 3 times 20 equal to 60. We can divide this 60 by 4, then we can say the output will be, our result will be 15. That means 4 times 15 equal to 60. Or we can divide this by 6 times 10. If we divide 60 by 6, we will get 10. Or if we divide 60 by 10, we will get 6. So here, we have already got some of the number and I think another we can divide this 60 by 5 also so 5 times 12 equal to 60. So now what about the factors of 60? Factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 and 60. A lot of number. All are factors of 60. But 60 is a multiple of all number. A very simple problem. Now, number 3. Number 3 says, is 72 is a multiple of 12? Let me check. 72. So, to identify the multiple of something, that we have to divide. 72 divided by 12. So, we already know 12 times 6, that is 72. That means we can say 12 times 6 equal to 72. So, obviously, 72 is the multiple of 12. And again, 72 is the multiple of 6. And we can say 12 and 6 both are factors of 72. Now, number 4. Number 4 says write down all the factors of 154. Similar type of problem. 
first we have to divide this one by 1 so 1 times 1 by 4 we can divide this one by 2 that means 2 7 ja 14 1 14 2 7 ja 14 then we can divide this one by 3 so is it possible to divide this one by 3 let me check first we have to add the digit 1 plus 4 5 plus 4 that is 10 10 cannot be divisible by 3 so this one cannot be divisible by 3 now let me check for next term is it possible to divide this one by 4 maybe not because the unit and tens digit units and tens digit are not divisible by 4 so uh, it cannot be divisible by 5 it cannot be divisible by 6 also because if this number is divisible by 6 then it should be divisible by 3 also so now let me check for number 7 yes this one is divisible by 7 that means 7 2 ja 14 here is a 1 left so 14 7 2 ja 14 so 7 times 22 equal to 154 so again well, we can divide this one by uh, I think only uh, element if I want to divide this one by element we can say element times 1 that is 11 there is a 4 left so 44 11 times 14 equal to 154 so here the factors of 154 are 1 2 7 11 14 22 77 and 154 and we can also say these all numbers are factors of 154 very simple problem and 154 are mul is a multiple of that number 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 five write down three multiples of 22 22 so we have to find out the multiples very simple one so we can do multiply this one by one we can multiply this one by two we can multiply this one by three we can multiply this one by four similar type of way we can find out a lot of multiples of 22 suppose 22 times one that is 22 22 times two that is 44 uh, again that will be 66 that will be 88 so if you want to multiply this 22 by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then the output or result will be the multiple of 22 so in that way we can solve all the problem of exercise 1a now exercise 1b number 1 write down all the factors of 48 so 48 we can divide this 48 by 1 so it will be 1 times 48 we can divide this 48 by 2 that equal that means 2 times 24 equal to 48 we can divide this 48 by 3 because if we want to add the digit of 48 4 plus 8 that means 12 12 is divisible by 3 that means 48 is also divisible by 3 that means 3 times 3 1 just 3 that means uh, we have one left 18 3 6 18 so 3 times 16 equal to 48 that means the uh, next one 4 times 12 equal to 40 again we can divide this 48 by 4 that means 4 times 12 equal to 48 that uh, that means if we want to divide this one by another number suppose 6 that means we can say 6 8 ja 48 very simple way so what about the factors of 48 factors of 48 will be 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 16 24 and 48 now number two number two says write down all the factors of 66 66 so we can divide this 66 by one so one times 66 equal to 66 we can divide this 66 by 2 that means 2 times 33 equal to 66 we can divide this 66 by 3 that means 3 times 22 equal to 66 we can divide this 66 by 6 that means we will get 6 times 1 6 times 1 so we can say the factors of 66 are 1 2 3 6 11 2 and 2 2 33 and 66 very simple problem now next one number three number three says is 148 a multiple of 11 let me check 148 that means we have to divide this 148 by 11 so 11 times 1 that is 11 there is a 3 left so there is a 3 here and 8 so 
38 cannot be divisible by 11 because 11 times 3 equal to 33 so there is a remainder since there is a remainder that means 148 cannot be divisible by 11 since 148 cannot be divisible by 11 that means we can say 148 is not a multiple of 11 now next one number 4 write down all the factors of 130 so 130 that means we have to divide we can divide this one by 1 so 1 times 130 equal to 130 we can divide this one by 2 that means 2 times 65 equal to 130 we can divide this 130 by you know uh, we cannot divide by 3 because if we add the digit it is not divisible by 3 so uh, it cannot be divisible by 4 because 30 cannot be divisible by 4 uh, if i want to check for number 5 yes number 5 is divisible 130 is divisible by 5 okay now number 5 is correct so we can say 5 times 5 to the 10 uh, there is a 3 left and 30 that means 5 6 to 30 so uh, i think that is good now we can check for next one so we can divide this one by 10 so 10 times 13 equal to 130 so what is the factors now the factors of 130 are 1 2 5 10 13 26 65 and 130 now our last problem number five write down all the multiples of 15 very simple way we can solve it we have to multiply with one we can multiply it with two multiplied by three multiplied by four a lot of number so 15 times one that is 15 15 times two that is 30 15 times three that is 45 and 15 times 4 that is 60 so 15 30 45 60 are all multiples of 15 so you can find out a lot of multiples in that way so thank you very much for watching the class see you soon allah hafiz